What's going on, y'all? This is Chris Saunders, a.k.a. CS Productions 29. You are loved, you are valued, and you are appreciated. We are going to dive into a wonderful song tonight. Uh, this is In Color by Jamie Johnson. I'm looking by the looks of this dude, uh, as well as this thumbnail, my guess is it's going to be a country song. I could be wrong. Uh, but <laughs> I think it's gonna be a country song. So excited to dive into this one. Oh yeah, I did. I actually chopped it off. I chopped off my hair. Got the fresh fade actually last week. What are your thoughts? How does it look? Uh, sometimes <laughs> there was actually someone that commented in the comment section below. They're like, wow, did your hair grow back that fast? No. So during quarantine, I've been growing up the top. Uh, I typically have like this high top fade and we'll grow it out sometimes on the top. I've been growing out the, the top during quarantine and then I'd never gotten braids before. So I was like, well, let me just braid the top every now and then. And so when it, in other videos, earlier videos, when it was short, it was actually braided back. Uh, but I did, I was like, let me, let me get it cleaned up. So cleaned up the beard, uh, cleaned up the, uh, the hair as well. But anyways, enough of that nonsense. Let's dive into in color by Jamie Johnson. Let's check this one out. Ooh, turn me up. I said, Grandpa wants this picture here. It's all black and white. And it ain't real clear as that you there. He said, yeah. I was a lover. So, couple things. First off, happy Veterans Day. I want to make sure I say that. Uh, it's November 11th. It's Veterans Day. I want to say thank you to you. Uh, if you if you serve currently, if you have served in uh, in the military, uh, if you have family that served uh, or has served, or if you have uh, close friends and loved ones, I want to say thank you for your service as well as um, just making that sacrifice for us. There are a lot of things that um, we go about and can do, at least here in the United States, as um, our free will, more so than um, I would say many people in other countries, and I think we take a lot of that for granted. So I just want to say thank you. Um, and just let you know that um, it, it, it doesn't go unnoticed and it is greatly appreciated and probably don't think about it or say it enough, but just want to say thank you. So praying for you uh, and your family and greatly appreciate that. So then also, secondly, I uh, was right. <laughs> this is a country song. So let's dive back in. Yeah, I was a loving Time for tough, back in 35, that's me and Uncle Joe just trying to survive a cotton farm in a Great Depression. And if it looks like we were scared to death, like a couple of kids just trying to save each other, you should have seen it in color. I was just about to mention that it's interesting. So the name of the song is in color and then the video is clearly in, in black and white. Um, so still figuring out what this story is about um, that he's touched on. It looks like he's talking about something actually ties potentially ties into um, just uh, the military and Veterans Day. Um, just because he mentioned 35, the Great Depression. So clearly uh, coming off of World War One and then um, going into World War Two. Um, when was World War II? Was it 39 to 45? Um, I'll, I'll look that up. But he talks about the Depression here in, in 35. Um, but yeah, let's dive back in. On oh, this one here, it's taken overseas in the middle of hell in 1943. Almost see my breath. That was my tail gunner, old Johnny McGee. He was a high school teacher from New Orleans, and he had my back. 
right through the day we left. If it looks like we were scared to death, like a couple of kids just trying to save each other, you should have seen it in color. A picture's worth a thousand words, but you can't. Should have seen it in color. There it is. So it's really cool. So it, it is kind of tying into what we were talking about earlier, where the video is in black and white or started in black and white, and then now uh, it looks like. I'm assuming we're heading into potentially the bridge or towards uh, uh, the last verse or part of the song. Um, and it's like it's it's fading in to uh, into color here. But I uh, want to pick out something that he mentioned. It's cool kind of the way the re he's referencing the, the lyrics as well of really just saying, like talking about these different stories or uh, momentous um, occurrences within um, his life or this guy's life. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if he's talking about, um, I may have missed this, but his, his family, maybe grandpa or something. Um, and just talking about these different stories that were crazy experiences. And he's saying like, if you, if you thought it was crazy, like essentially in the black and white, uh, in the pictures, you should have seen it in color. It was even more terrifying or just seeing it in real life. Uh, it was just that much more extraordinary. So a really cool dynamic of the song of just the, the writing there and the lyrics. This one is my favorite one This is me and Grandma In the summer sun All dressed up The day we said our vows You can't tell it here But it was hot that June That rose was red And her eyes were blue And just look at that smile I was so proud That's the story of my life. Love that guitar right there. Mm. Right there in black and white. And if it looks like we were scared to death, like a couple of kids just trying to save each other, you should have seen it in color. Should have seen it in Very nice. So several things there that I want to point out. Um, one loves the the ad libs of the, the electric guitar in, in the in the right ear, uh, and then also the solo. Thought that was really nice how it accompanied uh, the song. Love how it, it went f towards the end from like the well produced version uh, of the song to more of just a raw acoustic guitar. Um, arpeggio playing right there. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, arpeggio is like playing the individual notes. It is, uh, I guess, a pretty good way of explaining that. Say you had like a C chord and you did it and it was like doom, and then you were to play arpeggio, you'd be like doom, doom, doom. I, I don't know what the C major, C major would be, well, it'd be C, E, G. So uh, a C major chord would be like a C, E, and G if you played all three at once or if you played them individually like C, E, G. So I, I can't, I don't know what they sound like in my head, but uh, how he went and closed out the song uh, with the like kind of raw arpeggio uh, playing there on the acoustic guitar. And then also I believe it was about 325 in the song. So go back and check it out. 
but really love the dynamics of how um, it, the drums and electric guitar kind of, the band fell off and it was him singing and playing the acoustic guitar and then they came back in. Really liked that dynamic. And then also when they came back in, you could really hear the organ like <laughs> go go in there uh, and just thought it sounded really uh, cool just mixed together. But man, what a song. I just randomly it just happened to, I was uh, before doing this, you know, 10, 15 minutes, just looking through the list. Uh, what song should I go through? What song should I uh, just randomly pick? and happened to select this one in color by Jamie Johnson and on like it's late at night I'm actually I'm recording this on <laughs> November 11th on Veterans Day I'm going to edit it tonight and then post it today uh, and so out of a random selection what a song to pick where it's clearly talking about I think he's talking about his grandpa or potentially some stories about his grandpa but talking about some different scenarios of like times during the depression um, uh, battles and, and fights within World War II, uh, 1943. Uh, I did look it up and confirm, so um, I was right there. Don't call me a history buff, but <laughs> World War II, 1939 to 1945. Um, and so, and then, you know, it's Veterans Day. And so, I, I don't know, I find that kind of cool of just like I literally randomly selected this song and, it, and it's talking about, uh, you know, just uh, one, one of the momentous times really um, within the entire world. So with that, I just want to close it off and say again, uh, thank you to all of you who um, have uh, sacrificed your time, uh, potentially body or, and or life uh, just um, by making the ultimate sacrifice and putting others before you um, and uh, spending time within the U.S. military. Uh, thank you to our veterans. Uh, thank you to you if you served. Uh, if you are serving or if you have family or, or, or loved ones that are currently serving, just want to say thank you. It does not go unnoticed. Um, and we as a country should do a lot better um, taking care of our veterans and those who have, have served. Uh, but I just do want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. So you are loved, you are valued, and you are appreciated. Please know that. Um, with that, um, I don't know if I really asked any questions in this one. <laughs> um, but let's have some uh, some conversation in the in the comment section down below. Uh, be sure to give this a, a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for the suggestion. What a great song! First time checking out Jamie Johnson. Uh, that was what I would call like a classic country song, and it was it was beautiful. Uh, it told a beautiful story and, and sounded great. So be sure to give this one a, a, a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video reaction in the future. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.